You can never unsee that once you've seen it. Never. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the wonderful world of Minecraft. We are back again in our vanilla world. And isn't this lovely up here, guys? Yeah, snow is falling, and I love the snow in Minecraft. I think it's really cool. I think it's really cool. And uh, kind of wish it would snow down there, too. But it's just the rain, which I also kind of like the rain. But uh, whoop, whoop. it's not quite as cool as the snow. Not quite as cool. But the reason that I was up there was because I was looking around a little bit. That wasn't very good, but okay. And I'm trying to figure out where I want to build a stable for some llamas. Because, guys, we are now in the official 1.11 release. So, yeah, it's, it's uh, completely out now. Probably a lot more people will be going to it now. Uh, a lot of servers will be transferring over and everything. So it's pretty cool stuff. But I thought about it that there's a lot of things that we haven't worked with yet in uh, 1.11, even though we've been playing the snapshots for quite a while now. And one of those things is right here, the shulker box. I have not made a shulker box yet, and I definitely need to do that. So, I think this is how you make them. Not like that. You make some chests, and then you do this and this. Ha <laughs> ha! Purple shulker box. And then, I don't know if I have any dye. I've got some cactus, so I can make some green ones. Uh, that's probably going to be what we're going to have to go with for now. Lapis. I think we can make a blue one then. So if we do this. Is that not how you make blue dye? Or maybe you just stick it in there. Yep, you just stick it in there. Okay. So we've got a blue one. And then we're going to cook one of these up. And then also the other thing we want to do is work with llamas. So I want to get a uh, uh, enclosure. I'm thinking about over in that area, but I'm not sure yet. And I want to kind of make it pretty nice looking and everything. And get some llamas going there. But uh, actually, I just finished watching Vintage Beef's episode on where he's making a llama enclosure. So that's kind of inspired me somewhat. Awesome! So, I thought they made a different sound. Oh, no. Ah! That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I think you guys should be able to hear that. That is awesome. But yeah, if you guys don't know, which you should know probably, but if, if you guys don't know what the shulker boxes are, they're basically backpacks. You can uh, pick them up and probably easier with a pickaxe. Oh yeah. And uh, whatever you put inside of them. So if we put some chests in there, you can pick that item up. And then you can actually see that there's three chests in there. You can place it back down and then you have all your stuff in there. So it's really cool. So we'll be carrying those around. That will be, uh, I'll probably off camera stock those with some different things. And uh, maybe color those other two something else so we can tell them apart. I want to run down here real quick and check on our villagers. See if they're popping out any babies yet. No, it doesn't look like it. Man, this uh, weekend I was playing around on a creative world, and I was on a different computer, so I couldn't record anything, but, uh, and I had built basically this in the creative world just to see what would happen, and I was getting uh, villager babies like crazy. I mean, I had like dozens of them by the end of it, and uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. This guy is having fun playing with his doors. There's two more doors back in there. I've got it set up the same way I had the other one. I think. So these guys should be breeding, but they're not. Obviously, they have no lack of food. And, uh, yeah. So I don't know what the deal is there. I'll have to keep on working with that. Maybe eventually they'll get in the mood. But for now, we are going to start on oh, it's nighttime. I'm probably going to sleep and then I'm going to get uh, something started for the llama enclosure and we will be back. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Uh, did you see it? It lifts you up a little bit. That's pretty cool. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> uh, 
I am easily amused. But anyways, guys, uh, so I've cleared this little area out here. I think this is where we're going to be building it. I'm not exactly sure, like, right where it's going to go. Probably, maybe as far as, like, back into here somewhere. And uh, I think we're going to be using a little bit of a different fence design. Because eventually this whole fence, I think, is going to be changed out for a different design. And I think... Hmm, I'm not sure exactly what uh, what I'm going to be using, what logs. But I'm thinking it's going to be something like this. And then... Actually, no. Let's move that over here. And like that. So something like that. And actually, that doesn't look too bad, in my opinion. But, I think we might go with that, actually. We'll do that for this area, and then maybe eventually when we tra trade the rest of it out, if we decide to go with something else, then we will. But yeah, I'm going to do that around here. And there we go. And yeah, thanks to the power of editing, that shouldn't have taken any time. Or maybe a time lapse it. I don't know. I don't know what future me will do. Anyways, <laughs> so now it's just putting a building in here. And I think this right here is going to be the back side of the building. And so we might, uh, I'm not exactly sure. Probably going to cut until I figure out what I'm going to do. Okay, guys, so I can say that uh, Ghost Blocks has not been fixed in 1.11, sadly. So if we do this, there we go. Get rid of that guy. And now we're good. Oh. And now I think this is what we're going for. So I, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with the roof. Uh, but I kind of like the idea of this. Just going along and kind of like a corner of it. Making uh, kind of a lean-to like area. Then I think this here. Whoop, that should be good. And I might go up a little bit higher here, maybe. Maybe. But yeah, and then this back here is going to be the back side of it. And uh, this out here, most of these walls here will be opened for the llamas to get in and out of. And then I'll be putting, probably going on from here, and go over this way, and then come around over and meet up here. And that should give them a pretty good area to run around in, but also a nice enclosure in here so i'm gonna keep working on this and see where it takes me okay guys so here is the roof uh so far now it i don't know it looks weird for some reason i mean i realize that it's it's very asymmetrical uh but that is kind of what i was going for i'm thinking maybe that straight edge is the problem i need to kind of round that corner off a little bit and maybe that would help it some at least from this angle. Oh, almost didn't engage there. From down here, I think it looks pretty good, though. I kind of like it. Uh, and also, if we go a little farther, I should have just kept on flying, I guess. Let's see if we can get a, uh, a boost from over here. Nope. Uh, go ahead. Nope. Nope. <laughs> there we go. Now we're in the air. So yeah, I think even from up here, it doesn't look too bad. I think it looks pretty cool, actually. I kind of like the way it looks. And I think once we fig finish out the inside here, it will look even better. I think I'm going to leave all these walls opened and everything. But uh, probably have some cleaning up to do in here. I don't know, probably not much of it. I might, uh... Hmm, not sure. Probably just leave most of this, actually. But the floor is one thing that I want to take a look at. Uh, let's see. Let's get a shovel here. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with the floor. Is the problem. So if we clear this out real quick. There we go. Probably shouldn't leave it grass underneath the fence, either. I don't know. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But, let's see here if we can make a bunch of... Would just regular old oak planks work? Hmm. 
Okay, yeah, I think it does kind of work. Uh, probably could do something better. I'm just not really sure what. Yeah, I kind of like the way that looks. And uh, now we just have to add some of the details on the inside. Okay, guys, so I've got some hay bales. And I think right back in this corner will work pretty good. Maybe just stack them up. Uh, maybe not quite like that. More like that. That might work pretty good. Yeah, I think that looks good. And also, this is what we need to feed them to uh, get them to breed. So we might end up, well, we'll definitely have to end up getting some more of them. But I think we can spare these as far as decoration goes. And maybe a couple pumpkins. I don't know if that's a, that'll look good or not. Let's take this guy back out. Maybe over here we'll put a couple in the corner. Yeah, I don't know. Looks all right. And also we need to place some torches down. And I think just uh, a few torches up in the corners will be all right. Put this one over here. Put them over here. Maybe stick this one on the outside. Stick two on the outside there. And that should be lit up good enough. I think. Yeah, it should be good enough. And now I'm thinking... And I don't know where it would be best to place this. And then... Hmm. I don't know how this is going to look. It looked pretty good in my head, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't know how it's going to look in person. And then we put some water in there. Nope, oh, and I froze the water. That is the problem with having frost walker. It's kind of hard to work with any kind of water. Come on. There we go. So yeah, I think... Ah. <laughs> Let me take my boots off real quick. It doesn't look too bad. Let's uh, take these back blocks out of here. And we can put... I feel like we should put something back there. Maybe some dark oak. I don't know why the dark oak, but I think it kind of works with it. That might not be the best place for it. Hmm. Or maybe we need to move the hay over a little bit. Because I've actually dealt with horses quite a bit, and you wouldn't want the water right next to the hay. Because then they'll be munching... Well, I guess these aren't horses, these are llamas. I've never dealt with llamas, but uh, with horses at least you wouldn't because then they'd grab some hay and then go get them a drink and then you'd end up with a whole bale inside the the, the, the water trough, which wouldn't be fun because then you would have to clean that out. But yeah, I think that looks pretty good. That doesn't look bad at all. I'm still not sure about the pumpkins. I might change the pumpkins out. But now I think the next part, well, I will be... Uh, Moving this over and complete completing the enclosure real quick. And then we're going to go look for some llamas. And I think there should be some. There is one right there, actually. Awesome. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Now I just need to make a lead. Or two. And I think we are ready to go get some llamas now. Because I, I think this kind of works. I like the way it looks. This is going to be our main entrance, I think. And I'll probably end up moving that farm eventually. And uh, I open this up just so we can get them in through here. But yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's it's it'll probably be tweaked over time, but uh, but for now at least, I think I'm pretty pleased with the way it looks. So let's go see if we can grab some llamas. And. The hardest part is going to be grabbing them without killing them. So I think first things first, let's take off. Oh, that was beautiful. Just beautiful. Now this guy here, oh, he is in a pretty bad place. Hello, how are you? <laughs> 
you're in a really bad place. Can we, we can grab him. And I don't have any blocks because I'm not very smart apparently. But we can do this. You think I can get you up here? Oh yeah. Doing good. There we go. And now it's just a question of if we can find any more of them. Okay guys, here we go with our first llama. Uh, he was the only one up there, I think. And he did take quite a bit of damage on the way down, but I think he'll be all right. So if we just come up here, awesome. Okay, now let's, uh, why do I only have one of these? I should have several. I should have several, maybe I put them all away. Oh, I can already tell I'm gonna be quite enjoying using these things because uh, hopefully it will keep my inventory a little bit nicer. Just a little bit, maybe. So yeah, what do you think? Huh? What do you think of your, new, of your new home? It's pretty snazzy, isn't it? And by the way, I mentioned earlier that I was uh, watching Vintage Beef's uh, episode where he was messing with llamas, and he kind of ruined something for me, too. He said, look at their nose. It looks like a little face with the eyes, the mouth, and the nose. You can never unsee that once you've seen it. Never. <laughs> Uh, it's bad, but I think now probably gonna go look for some more of them Actually, I think that might be all for this episode I think that's gonna be it for this episode and then hopefully maybe off camera I'll find some more or maybe next episode. We'll look for some more llamas and maybe do some breeding then But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode if you did make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new to my channel And I will see you guys next time